When you run a shop, you're always worried about the bottom dollar. And sometimes that causes folks to cut corners. But you don't always want to cut corners, especially when it comes to things like your end mills. Let's talk about chip teeth on your end mill. Budgets in your shop are always a challenge. Why spend money here when you can do more with it over here? Calculating the cost of your tools and work holding and contrasting that with what you're charging your customers. End mills are often seen as an expendable commodity in the shop. I mean, they're robust and they're a pain in the butt to change mid-program. That's why it can be tempting to continue cutting with the chipped end mill. Here's how to recognize that your cutter is chipped and why you should replace it right away. One, your surface finish suddenly changes and is showing tool marks that it wasn't earlier in your cut. Two, the sound of your cut will change. Three, the chips that are flying off your part change. Depending on your cutting technique, you should typically have a consistent stream of chips coming off your part. If that stream has a hiccup, your cutter might be chipped. There are a number of things that can cause your end mill to chip. Feeds and speeds are too fast, entering the first cut too quickly, the end mill is loose or slipping in the holder, recutting chips in poor chip management, or even teeth that don't have the proper cutting geometry. I can tell you all of this, but really it's easier to show you. This cutter has some chipped teeth, some worse than others. As the good teeth cut, the chip is quite uniform and flies off the part in a smooth, consistent motion. Now, as the broken tooth comes around, you can see the world's ugliest chip is forming and flies off in a random direction. Even worse, because that broken tooth didn't do its job, the next intact tooth has more to cut, causing even more inconsistency and increasing chip load. This is why, when you're cutting with a chip end mill, things can go bad really fast. Long story short, you might still be able to make your cut with a broken tooth, but a chipped tooth can cause stress and heat on your part, which will affect the final piece that comes off your machine. And your surface finish and finish dimensions will suffer. And so will your cutter. Thanks for watching. Check out all of our latest videos here, and for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.